Hey there guys, how's it going? It's Cody Orgle at CodyOrgle.com coming to you guys with a video. Today I wanted to talk about selling consignment items on eBay. It's a really cool income stream that I've had a bit of experience doing. Now, excuse me if you can hear this guy just puffing away here. He's very excited to see me, I just got back. But, pretty much, like, I just got some items sent to me on consignment. Come on, dude. So yeah, it's a really cool income stream because you don't have to spend any money up front on buying product. If you can create some kind of relationship or get some kind of deal to sell products for your friends or your family and charge them a commission per item that you sell, it's kind of like being your own independent fulfillment by Amazon sort of setup, but you act like Amazon. So that means you have to take photos of the product, you have to store the product, you have to sell and package and ship out the product. And then you take your cut and then you give the rest to the person who you're selling the item for. And it's a really cool sort of income stream that I kind of wanted to make a bit of a video about today just to give you guys the idea about it and to share my experience and just to try and help you guys if you want to try and do this income stream for yourself. So, my experience, my first experience, I think I'm kind of lucky how this kind of worked out for me. Um, I ended up selling a product for someone who's a great mate to me right now. Um, and they just found me, I think it was on the, on the YouTube channel or on eBay, and they just reached out saying, i got a heap of shoes, used shoes that uh, I'm not using anymore and I just want to get rid of them. So, yeah, I sold them for him. And through him, I also got another connection from someone else, um, which I'm selling handbags for. And I haven't even opened these yet, so I'm really excited to open them up and see what brands they are. I kind of just enjoy the process of going on eBay comps and just seeing what everything sold for my mark like the eBay market research kind of like gets me bubbling inside I just enjoy that process so that that'll be what I'm doing next is going through all these items figuring out how much I can sell them for and then I'm going to start listing them and yeah I I charge around a 30% commission which seems pretty good like you want to like if you're doing that you want to make sure that the per item sale is up to the around that $100 mark just so you can get like that you know 15 20 $30 margins for your effort. So you gotta make sure your effort's worth it. Like for me, taking it, like say per handbag, if I was to photograph each handbag, it's probably gonna take, you know, five minutes to photograph one handbag, and then probably another five minutes to 10 minutes of listing that item. So you've got maybe 15 to 20 minutes into per item of, uh, you know, physical labor or work that you have to do, then you have to ship it as well, which is probably like another couple of minutes. It really doesn't take that long. So you're looking at like 20, maybe up to 25 minutes per item of work. So if you get back, you know, 15, 20, $30 for doing that one item, then that works out, you know, it's like almost, it's around 50, $60 an hour of work, which kind of is pretty good considering like you don't have to buy the item or put your money investing into the item and then, you know, having it laying around or whatever. So, I just wanted to share in this video, like, this this potential income stream with you guys. And if you want to look into it more, I really suggest it. It's pretty cool. You can just start by going to your friends like, hey, do you have any items that you want to get rid of? And some people have, you know, shopaholics and they just buy so much cool stuff. And then they just don't use it and they want to get rid of it. And then for them, you can provide value by getting rid of the things they don't want, but also giving them money in return for what they, for what you sell it for, and you get a cut as well. So it's a win-win. So it's just providing that service and value. But, I don't know if I want to show it on camera. I want to do a little unboxing of what we have here. Interesting. All right. Interesting. So we've got a bunch of handbags here. I don't know anything about handbags, but I guess it's going to be a learning curve for me. I'm seeing a trend here with the brand. Like, look at that retail price. So it's looking pretty promising with uh, in the used market, but I'm going to do some research anyway. 
So guys, I've just been looking through this bag, this bag lot, and I just come across a pretty cool brand, which is called Fendi. Now, this is actually a really cool way to research, uh, a, like a category of items that you know nothing about, is to just get like a whole ton of them sent to you, and then just research them. I'm more of a hands-on person, so this is great for me. But Fendi, this this is like from looking at comps, like a hundred plus dollar bag, which is great. Some of the other ones, like a twenty dollar bags and then you got like some $50 bags so there's a, a wide range of stuff here which is really cool you know what guys I'm excited to see this brand Hermes Paris oh, oh this is a ripper of a brand you know you're you know you're doing good when you have this brand that'd be a good one but just thought I'd just quickly shoot this video and just share the idea with you guys. Hopefully you got value from this and maybe you're going to take some action yourself and try and figure out some more ways that you can bring in some extra inventory. It's a really great way to bring in like a heap of inventory without even having to lift a finger really to go out and source it because it's already provided for you. It's all sent to you all at once. And this is great as well because if you are having trouble, like sometimes I have trouble trying to keep up with stocking new inventory because I'm listing it fast, just getting it up there. So if you can get like a, a load, a bulk lot of stuff to work with, um, it's also great because, you know, like if you're not constantly listing things on eBay, I've found that you don't get as many sales because eBay, I don't know why, this is my my opinion, the eBay, the eBay algorithm, I don't know if this is true, it, it likes like that activity of um, consistent uploading or listing of items so it's also great for that as well but yeah guys if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that and i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you subscribe as well see ya